வணக்கம் மே ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாதம் சார் When would the dark lord Kali Parusha Lucifer die as per Quran Quran the last reminder reminding us about the Qumri way of life its tradition culture and its administrator whom god has appointed In Indian tradition they have the concept of deva and raksasa Deva means angels raksasa means demon In Indian tradition they have a concept where raksasa used to fight among each other and shed each other's blood and sometimes they used to go to devlok and create turmoil among the angels by destroying them when god planned to create earth and appoint his representative on the earth humans like demons will also have free will when god disclosed his plan in the assembly of demons and angels Quran chapter 2 verse 30 takes us to that time people whom god has given information on all subjects will understand the verse much better than people who have no warner or books instead of calling indian people let's call them kumri people kumri people will understand the quran much better than those people who have no warner or books as history from adam to noe 100% deals with kumri people I quote Quran chapter 2 verse 30 And when your lord said to the angels indeed I will make upon the earth a success of authority they said will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood while we declare your praise and sanctify you Allah said indeed I know that which you do not know indeed I will make upon the earth a success of authority Sivam in the Tamil language means god omnipotent Sivan in Tamil language means god representative on the earth Sivan translated into Arabic language means khalifa Among Kumri people their first sangam at Kumari Kandam was established by the Pandian Bhul Karnain in Arabic language means two horns Two horns refers to the bull bull a symbol of Kumri people king Bhul Karnain in Arabic also means king of two generations. As per Kumri people's tradition their first king and first siddha was Shiva. Since the Quran is the last reminder reminding about the way of life of Kumri people called Asivagam which given by God to first siddha. First siddha also became the administrator of the colony of Adam. Quran chapter 2 verse 30 reminds the Kumri people about their king. Quran chapter 96 verse 1 to 5 reminds the Kumri people about their first siddha whom God taught by pen giving him information on all subjects. Quran chapter 49 verse 13 reminds the Kumri people to identify by department of works and tribes. Quran chapter 6 verse 6 reminds Kumri people about the backwaters of Kumari Kandam. Because of the information on all subjects given by God to first Siddha the people of Kumri lived in an advanced civilization which the current generation was not given Old world people are from Kumri new generation started from Anatolia let's call the new generation as Mediterranean people Quran chapter 11 verse 48 to 49 reminds that there were old generation people of Kumri were inside the boat of Noah along with the new generation called Mediterranean people I quote Quran chapter 11 verse 48 to 49 it was said O Noah disembark in security from us and blessings upon you and upon nations descending from those with you new generation called mediterranean people but other nations of kumri people we will grant enjoyment then they will touch them from us a painful punishment that is from the news of the unseen which we reveal to you o muhammad you knew it not about kumri people neither you know your people before this so be patient indeed the best outcome is for the righteous Note remember God has not given all information to everyone except to first Siddha Other children of Adam were given one subject knowledge this way Adam children's divided into department of works Does Quran talks about new generation after flood 
I quote Quran chapter 6 verse 6 which talks about new generation which came after flood of Noah. We will call this new generation as Mediterranean people. It reads, Have they not seen how many generations we destroyed before them which we had established upon the earth as we have not established you? And we sent rain from the sky upon them in showers and made rivers flow beneath them. Then we destroyed them for their sins and brought forth after them a generation of others. And brought forth after them a generation of others. Remember before Noah floods among Qumri people many generations were destroyed. But after Noah a fresh generation came. Remember among Qumri people they were tall in height and their lifespan was more than 1000 years. But after Noah flood God changed the genetic code of all species plant including human being. Remember Quran chapter 11 verse 48 reminds Qumri people that they will enjoy for a while then a painful torment. The age of torment on the people of Qumri is known as the age of the four beastly regime as per Bible Daniel chapter 7 that age of the beasts would end with the coming of the son of man. After Mahabharat war which was fought among the Pandyans, Shri Krishna prophesied about the greater Kalyugam. That long period of bad administration it will end when Kalki comes. People should understand the meaning of Satyugam, Kalyugam and greater Kalyugam. Satyugam means age of good administration by the Pandyan. Kalyugam means age of bad administration by the Pandyan. Greater Kalyugam means age of bad administration for a long period of time by the people who are not from the Pandyan bloodline. Quran chapter 1 verse 6 to 7 reminds about the three yugas of administration. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor. Not of those who have evoked your anger or of those who are astray. Explanation 1. Guide us to the straight path the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor. It refers to age of Satyugam. 2. Not of those who have evoked your anger, bloodline of Cain in administration whom Bible calls age of the four beastly regime is greater Kalyugam. 3. Or of those who are astray. People from the Pandyan who are strayed from straight path, this age is called Kalyugam. Coming to the question when would Lucifer the Dark Lord, Kali Parusha die as per Quran? Quran chapter 15 verse 26 to 42 in those verse from Quran which reminds about Lucifer who become Dark Lord in other words Kali Parusha. Lucifer requested God to be immortal till day of resurrection but God accepted Lucifer request to be Dark Lord until the day well known. With this we come to know from Quran that Lucifer the Dark Lord would die on that well-known day. Since Quran is a reminder for Qumri peoples as per Qumri tradition when Kalki comes that day Dark Lord, Kali Parusha would die and once again Pandyan Sangam would be re-established by the people. Of the Qumri, Qumri people's way of life is called Asivagam which God gave to first Siddha. Among Qumri people priestly class group were not there. As God taught Siva meditation. Siva the first human to activate his Kundalini and become the image of God. Apart from connecting to Supreme Conscious through Kundalini Chakra awakening. Further meditation helps individual to connect with its ancestral memories and also connect with soul. Soul the particle of God. Dark Lord. Kali Parusha in other words Lucifer dies when all priestly class religious organization are shut down by the Qumri people and the people of Qumri re-established Pandyan Sangam once again. Through their respective Kuldevam, community center. Remember when Abraham was appointed as a nation for his descendants their Kuldevam, Abraham community center become Kaaba at Mecca. Foundation stone of Kaaba laid by Abraham and Ishmael. Sacrifice of animal was done in Mina by Abraham family. This way God taught Abraham the ritual of Qumri people that is ancestral get together and sacrifices of animal. Later among children of Israel Saul was appointed as a king.
David Bloodline holds the position of administration among family of Abraham. First house of administration built at Jerusalem. Later new administration center for children of Israel become Maka. Remember among Qumri people they have a Kuldevam their community center and they sacrifice animals at their respective Kuldevam. Beware of Jewish syndicate consisting of traders and priestly class group. End priestly class group and re-establish community center is done during first Pandian Sangam at Kumari Kandam. Do you want Dark Lord, Kali Parusha the Lucifer to be dead? Do you want to enter Satyugam, Pandian Sangam? The day well known mentioned in Quran means the age when the Kumri people re-establish Pandian Sangam. On that day Dark Lord, Kali Parusha the Lucifer would die for that all you have to do is end all priestly class religious organization. Son of woman Jesus Christ will come back to complete his mission with children of Israel. Further with coming of Jesus son of Mariam. God would fulfill his promise which he made with Abraham a land for the descendants of Abraham. Which means the scattered nation among the children of Israel have to return back to their land from all over the world including from Tamil Nadu. Cain is banished from cradle of civilization. Cradle of civilization is Tamil Nadu Sri Lanka Kumari Kandam. Tamil Nadu only for the Kumri. Thank you.